Oh, that fish took off. Stay on there, baby. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Man. There we go. We're on, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. come on, baby. Come on, come Patrick. On, yeah. We got him, boys. Oh. That's a that's a decent fish. Coming at you. <laughs> you coming at me hot, boys? Dang, that is down the goozle right there. Oh yeah, that's a big oh. fish. That's a big fish. Uh -oh. That's a good uh -oh. fish. You got a big fish. Yes, sir. Somebody might want to get that net. It's it's heavy. Heavy. It's heavy. Come on, Brad. I got a damn buffalo carp on here. Ah. I don't make for good video, <laughs> huh? All right, Patrick and I are the first ones here. Do you guys recognize where we're at yet? We are here at L&M Lake and Golf Retreat in Texas, and we are here to catch big bass, but we're also here for a Guggen Reel review. That's right, y'all know these Guggen Reels are out. We have the green with us. Let me show you here. Patrick, we need like a smoke deal, like oh, some good music, like you're going into like, what was that movie, Indiana Jones? Shh, we're about to show you something. But unfortunately, you guys can't see all that because we don't have a budget for uh, After Effects guy. But we do have a Guggen Green reel here that I'm really excited about getting on the water with. And I'm the first one here, so I'm also gonna get to get it. Everything strung up with the baits of my choice. Lojo, Brad, Andrew, they're all, all on the way down here. You want more technical information on these Guggen Green Reels, go ahead and check out Lojo's channel. I'll link it here. But we are going out just to fish with them. Is this reel something we'd wanna go fish with and have fun with? I don't, I don't really worry about the cost yet because we kind of know where it's gonna be. It's in the price point where you guys are gonna be happy with it. But is it something that's gonna be enjoyable to fish with? Let's go find out. All right, let's grab the battery. Mr. Mike, what are you doing in here? Yeah. Man, this is the boat, ain't it? Yeah. Hey, this is good. Yeah. This is looking good. Might gonna work. Oh, you get the trolling motor on the front deck too? Yeah. Man. What are you working on this now? Yeah, I'm just putting up to this 24 volt system. Yeah. So gonna take two 12 volt batteries, splice them together, make 24, and be ready to fish in 30 minutes. Oh, you can fit we can fish out of this in 30 minutes? Yeah. Dude, let's do that. I like the sound of that much better. I didn't realize you've been working. We can room. use that motor, but I don't think you need it for no. long. I thought I thought you were gonna wait on this for all of us to work together. I can't wait on you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Well, I guess somebody's gotta work. Yeah. Yeah. I, bought, I bought this thing like three weeks ago. Yeah, that's long enough for you. Huh? It's sitting out yeah. here. And Lord, Lord said uh, I needed something to do, so. Yeah, I'm starting to flip. I got it! Oh, you forgot one. No way, I don't know that I can get it again. <laughs> Alright! You just, just fell forward on your face. I bent over to pick it up and got stuck. Yeah, outdoor yoga. No movement, no movement. Dude, I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> I may act like I don't know what I'm doing, but it's for yeah. me. How's our, where's our fishing poles at? They're on the back of that grave. <laughs> What we get on that one? Grab it. Do we need them? We might as well put them in the boat before we get in there. Then we'll probably need a boat. You, you want to race me then? You go. I guess I'm good. Cool. We are getting a bass right over boat the in the lake, boys and girls. Uh -oh. Look at this. Look at this. Put the net right behind you and get this girl dialed in a little bit. Yeah, these are brand new Guggen reels. They are not dialed in in any way, shape, or form. They just came out of the box 10 minutes ago. So where did I? Oh yeah, I got a, I got a crankbait. Okay. Little clutch guy, grande, red. Oh dude, the fish just jumped right in front of you, brother. Yeah. I don't think it was a mondo, but 
Let me start chucking it. Okay. Well, I didn't even thumb that spool, so that's a good sign. I'm not trying to go directly at them. I tell you what, the Guggen reel looks good. I can tell you that much for sure. If it performs half as well as it looks, that'll be a win. Got a good feel to it, you say? Yeah, I haven't even really messed with it. Look, I just skipped that and didn't bird nest it. Well, this thing might be actually pretty good. Now, if you can use it, anybody can. It's comfortable. That's the main thing for me. I'm liking it. So I've got braid paired up. You got it? Oh, missed. Too late. This thing's casting really good. And this is the green. So I think this price point's going to be. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I, I don't have nothing to say there. I didn't feel, feel nothing when I went to set the hook. I'm not real sure. Maybe my little happy trailer was dancing under there, and I'm just not used to the way this thing twerks underwater. Did you say twerks? Yeah, twerks. That thing will twerk under there. You, have to put you ain't seen the commercial of this thing twerking? I don't think I have. Oh, it's probably because it's, look, it's, it's not, it's probably a little more in PG-13 the way this thing twerks on there. Oh, Something was right a fish there. there. Oh my gosh, am I slow. Oh, Brad. Drag, huh? Brand new reel out of the box. I didn't check my drag. That's what it is. Oh, let's see if I can catch one now. Oh man, she's been slipping on me. That's why you go to set that hook and it just. Oh yeah, that's a big fish. Oh. That's a big fish. Uh -oh. That's a good uh -oh. fish. You got a big fish. Yes, sir. Somebody, somebody might want to get that net. It's, it's on, heavy. Brad. It's heavy. Come on, Brad. I got a damn buffalo carp on here. <laughs> this thing is big. Come on, this, Brad. This is a big fish. I'm telling you, this is a good fish. You want to see it? Brad, come on, baby. We need this. Look at this. That's heavy. Dude, that's a big fish. Oh, you weren't you, I thought you said we weren't come saltwater fishing. Come on, Brad. I thought we weren't saltwater fishing. I got a big tarpon on me. Woo. All right. All right. Where are we at? It's, this thing is just staying buried. It might be a flathead. Oh. Look at that. That's a big it's fish. A drum. It's a drum. It is a drum. It's a drum. It's a car! It's a car! Imagine that! I told you, you I thought it was a buffalo carp. Get that nasty thing out of the net! <laughs> Look at that thing! I am, I'm actually pretty excited that we caught that. That is a giant car. That, that is, is a, a giant fish carp. Thing. Okay, get, get these pliers. Yeah. I got a freaking Guggen hook in my rubber arm. Man, right. the clutch just catches them all, doesn't it? I mean, you gotta be. If you did a multi-species fishing challenge with the, uh, I bet you the clutch would win. If you could only use one bait. Let me get this out before I touch that nasty booger. Okay. I thought I had like a 12 or 15 uh, I thought pound bass you had on. the late record. When it started running. Yeah, you're like, oh, that's a drum. Look at that. Nasty thing. <laughs> what in the world's going on here? He's too big to get out of the net. <laughs> Hold that thing for camera. All right, hang on. Hang on. Look at him. Look at his mouth. He's trying to bite me. <laughs> He's so slimy. Oh. He's so slimy. Okay, hang on. I want to get a good <laughs> grip on this thing. Oh. How are we show, looking there? Show, show, show Patrick his lips. Hold <laughs> show, on. Show how he's Whoa. coming at you. <laughs> he's coming at me hot, boys. Oh. Look at that. I can say this is the first carp that I've caught out of this lake. And I, I, I snagged it. I didn't catch it. Let's is that be real. your PB carp? 
Uh, I'd have to say that is my PB car. PB! I'm not gonna weigh it, but I'm gonna say <laughs> that's six and a half, seven pounds, probably. Yeah, I ain't weighing that thing. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you call it one more. You want, call it hey, 12. We formed our own language, George. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's trying to talk to you. <laughs> oh my god. Right, get that stinking thing out of here. A freaking car. I've seen them in here, but I've never caught one. Uh -oh. Let's go! That was fun. Nasty fish. I'm glad we messed with the carp going through the best fishing hole we have right now. Big old nasty. Yeah. It's hard to make a John boat go straight. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to do everything else, but man, going straight, that's that's a tough one. Things just don't want to do it. y'all hear that? It kind of sounded like... Oh, I got an idea here. Alright, let's see if that worked. Oh, that fish took off. Stay on there, baby. Oh, yeah! Oh, I'm on. I am on, fans. There we go, there we go. Man. There we go, we're on, baby. Oh, that's a that's a decent fish. Oh, oh there play. we go. In the boat. There we go. Look at that one. Yeah, nice. Sure like that one. Got a frame. Come on, baby. Come on, Come Patrick. On, baby. Yeah. Chase him. There we go. Got it. Oh. Yep. Welcome to LM, what can I get for you? Dang, that is down the goozle right there. Come on, Patrick. Get your butter ball up in here. We got him, oh, good job. <laughs> Ooh, we start to pull at the boat. No, I don't think anything's better. Centrifugals are working. I'm chucking this thing with no worry. I'm, I'm passing into the wind, too. Come on, the are going. Okay, I'm going to go there. there. <laughs> Look at how that fish ate that crankbait. We're on them. We're on. All right. Here's uh okay. After my first fish catch review of the new Guggen reel, one thing I really appreciate that I didn't I didn't even think until right there. There's little grooves in that grip. Yeah, it hangs on. It, it hung on my thumb pretty good. Yeah. So I like that. I also like how this clicks one click at a time. Just I, being able to hear that, I can really feel like I can dial it in good. I love that. I think that's one of the coolest things about it. Yeah. All right, let's go back to fishing. We need to catch some more. Well, I will tell you the gold one is nice because I haven't had the first issue. And I've cranked the heck out of this crankbait. Into the wind. Like right here, boom, that's straight in the wind. No thumb, no problem. That's impressive. So my magnetic brakes, I can take them all the way down. One hour's up, boys and girls. We caught a couple fish, saw you guys catch a couple. But it switched, it wasn't the most fish anymore, it was the biggest fish, right? Yeah, biggest fish. Okay, so what was your biggest fish? Well, we didn't get a weighable fish that was big enough. We had about two and a half pounder. Really? Yeah. I won! <laughs> Let's go! Because I, I didn't weigh mine either, but mine was like easily a three and a half pounder. Heck yeah, dude. Dude, nice little three and a half pounder, like chunky as heck. I think I think the people watching would agree that was yeah. a, way bigger than two and a half. What I yeah thought. okay yeah way to show up and win yeah sorry, sorry about that <laughs> but so the main reason was to get the feel for these new reels and for me to start off as someone that you would just say somewhat of an avid but like weekend fisherman guy don't really get too caught up in specs I like how it feels in the hand one thing I really liked when I did catch my fish, was the little grooves here in the grips. Dude, the grips, yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Like, I thought that was awesome. So we actually designed these to be like ergonomic to your like index finger and thumb. So like the curvature of it, it's really easy to grasp with those fingers, which is like what you initially do when something happens, you know, you, you go to reach for it with your fingers. So mm -hmm. yeah, I really like that too. I was gonna ask you, like walk me through what you like, what you didn't like. Cause yeah. I was actually involved in the process of designing this thing. Right. So, so what about you, Brad? I, I like the feel of it. We had 50 pound braid tied on that too. So, <laughs> which is pretty, the pretty one rough on reels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It can yeah, be that rough. heavy braid can be rough. So 
And so to be able to cast it like we were. To be able to cast it, not now. Did I have a backlash? Maybe one or two. But well, sure, it I was mean, windy as well. Yeah, it was yeah, very windy out here. Yeah, super yeah. windy. But hey, felt great. Like you're saying, like the way that the grips felt. Mm -hmm. uh, and hands get a little wet. You get a little bit better grip on it actually too. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. That's that material. So yeah. another feature I loved was that click. The click. Feeling and yep. hearing that on the drag and the tension. Yeah, knob, both. And they have different sounding yeah. clicks too. So you know if like if you accidentally do one, you know which one you hit. Yeah. Did you right. pay attention to that? It's like I a, didn't it's a notice noise. that with the wind. It's a completely different that, noise. I will check that out more. I think it's a it's a really, really good entry level bait caster. Like if you're somebody who you want something that's gonna be that, that stands up over time, but yeah. something that's also not incredibly hard to figure out, like something that's really hard to tune. Right. Like those high-end reels, like a Corrado DC or something, those are actually kind of hard for people to tune to themselves sometimes, especially if you're a beginner. But you know, this thing is uh I yeah, think it's a really great thing, thing for a beginner angler or an experienced angler who's just looking for an affordable reel. Yep, fun. So these are coming soon. Make sure you guys keep checking out Lojo's channel to find out more information on it. You yeah. have more details coming up on an episode coming out soon. Yep. So y'all go check that out. See ya. Love you. Hoo ah. That'll make for good video, <laughs> huh? That's the way it's supposed to work. It shorted that out though, didn't it? Yes, it did. Sure did. Put it right out on there. I oh, know that's correct. <laughs>